So as we were heading into Labor Day weekend here in Michigan, uh, the time has come uh, to start taking down the summer tubs and bringing the fish inside. Uh, temperatures next week look to be kind of dicey, uh, starting to get lows in the 50s. So definitely time to uh, get the summer tubs in and do a little bit of an update on how it went this year. So uh, we'll go ahead and get started. Uh, the first tub we come to here is looking a little bit worse for wear, but this was the home to the Horatio Dominguez guppies. So I did put a group of them out here and uh, definitely still have a big group inside. We'll go ahead and start draining this pond and I'll get you guys a little bit of an update. We were able to reunite the Horatio Dominguez guppies with their brethren in the 29 gallon tank. Uh, we didn't get that great of a yield from these, uh, which was a little bit disappointing, but we did find some frogs in the pond. So that probably has something to do with it. Um, that pond wasn't looking too great in terms of structural integrity as well, so maybe we lost a couple over the side. So, all in all though, I can't complain, they're healthy. So let's go head back outside and get some more fish. So, a lot of these ponds have this muck on it. So, you know, what we're going to be doing here is just pulling off all this algae. You know, this is basically the wild, right? You know, I haven't done a lot with these in terms of, uh, you know, making them pretty. You know, these were out to produce fish. So uh, the first pond, we did have quite a few frogs, which is unfortunate. So uh, the yield was not very good at all. But uh, let's take a look here and see these uh, heterandria formosa and see how these guys are doing. So we got the pump in there. We got that draining out. Uh, I've seen a few in there, not too many, but this pond's looking pretty good. This is the uh, cobra endlers that I did get from Dan. Uh, there are quite a few in there. It might be a little bit dark. And then uh, these are the dragon guppies. And there's quite a few in there. And there's a few stunning looking males. All right, we're going to look at this pond here. This had the red strand lace double sword guppies. And some Xenotoka lion's eye. So we do have the tubs drained out. So everything is looking good here with the Federandria Formosa. We do have them moved into a 20 gallon tank here in the fish tank barn. These guys are doing quite well. Did get quite a few out of here. So definitely pretty happy with the yield. Uh, these guys are a little bit hard to film just due to their size, but they are pretty stunning little fish. So this is definitely a candidate to go out again next year and generally pretty happy with how these guys did. All right, we're now working on getting this pond drained out. Got the pump going in here. Uh, we did catch a few of the fish already. Uh, so we do have the red strand double swords down there. Uh, we did get quite a few out of here already, even though we haven't started draining it yet. But we do have quite a few of the endlers in here. So looking good. Haven't seen any more frogs yet but I think there's probably some more, I'm sure. So we did get those four tubs cleared out. So let's go ahead and start with the Xenotoka lion's eye. Uh, we do have them here in this 27 gallon cube. So I did really like the colors that came out from the pond. They did get a really nice sheen to them. Generally, Gideads are kind of a grayish fish, but these guys did get some colorful sheens on them as they were outside. So uh, definitely be maybe considering putting them outside again. Uh, we'll kind of see how the fish room changes over the next year, but definitely a uh, fish to keep in mind. So let's look at the red strand double sword guppies. Uh, these guys are in the 29 gallon that is below uh, the tank with the Santa Maria endlers. And these guys are doing great as well. Got this tank to themselves. Definitely looking to get some more out of these guys. Um, they did pretty well in the tubs as well. Uh, again, kind of fell victim, I think, at the end to maybe a frog or two or some of the cold weather that kind of came through right at the end of tubbing season here. So let's go ahead now and take a look at the cobra endlers. Uh, those guys are doing well as well. I did put them in this 20 gallon long tank uh, that I did have open. And these guys did pretty well outside as well. Um, I did think they were a little bit of a victim of the cold snap that kind of went through right around Labor Day weekend. So I probably did lose a few, but all in all, definitely enjoyed having a lot of the endlers out there. All right, let's talk about the super red Dumbo dragon guppies. Uh, we did start with a handful of these fish as well. They did do pretty well in the tubs. Uh, did give me a few fry. Uh, this was a colony I was looking to jumpstart. Uh, so it looks like we are on our way. Uh, we did put these guys into a 29 gallon tank, which is below the Indian rice fish. Uh, they do look pretty good in the new tank. Uh, the tank's got some valisneri in it for a lot of hiding places for fry. So definitely looking forward to seeing these progress as well. So we now come to the two 55 gallon drums. 
first drum has the Santa Maria Endlers, and then our second drum will have uh, a group of Snowcross Endlers. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and get these drained out, and uh, we'll tell you guys about these as well. Now that we've got the barrels drained and all the fish out of the barrels, let's go ahead here and take a look at the Snowcross Endlers. So these guys are reunited with their brethren in the 15-gallon tank. Uh, these guys did quite well outside in the ponds. Uh, they did reproduce quite a bit. I uh, did get a few fry out of there. So they definitely had a good showing. Uh, these have turned out to be some of my favorite fish, both in the pond and out of the pond. So definitely one I am going to keep going into the ponds in the future. Uh, kind of a similar story here with the Santa Marias. Uh, Santa Marias are doing well as well. Uh, again, reunited with all of their tank mates, including the rainbow fish and shrimp. Definitely something I am pretty happy with and how these guys turned out and how everything's going with those. So let's now head into the garden and take a look at the other two tubs and start getting those drained out as well. So we now have the pond on the right drained here. Uh, this pond was home to a group of Gadea atropinus. Uh, some turquoise guppies, as well as some coral platies. Looks like we do have quite a few fish in here, quite a few fry. So I'm pretty excited to get these netted out and see what we got. So look at this beautiful Gideon. I really like the color and sheen on this fish. So we finally caught one, finally got the frog. So definitely knew there were some frogs in here. So uh, take a look at that guy and then we'll go ahead and turn them loose. And then uh, as we're netting those out, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start this one draining. So this tub is home to the red tuxedo guppies. So definitely looking forward to seeing how these guys turn out. Uh, we did start out with a small group, but I am pretty excited to see how these guys turn out because they are absolutely beautiful fish when they grow up. All right, so now that we've got both of the garden tubs drained, so let's go ahead and look at what happened uh, with the Gudea atropinus, the turquoise guppies, and the coral platies. Uh, we did lose one of the big Gudeads, uh, which is kind of a bummer. So definitely uh, this tub was a little bit of a disappointment, but uh, we still do have some of the Gudeads. We have some of the fry. Uh, the guppies are doing fine, and the coral platies that were left were doing fine too. So not, not all in all bad, but uh, considering the frog issues, uh, definitely could have done a little bit better. The tuxedo guppies did pretty good as well. Put a group of fry out there to start with, and they did put out quite a bit of size, uh, but uh, definitely, you know, got this big tank now in this cube. Uh, the angelfish wasn't here, and he got moved to a 54-gallon boat front upstairs. So we'll go ahead and see how these guys mature out. So definitely excited to have some more of these tuxedo guppies in the fish room as well. Well, there, fellow fish keepers, definitely do hope you enjoy taking a look at the summer tubs this year. Uh, harvest wasn't perfect, but definitely learned a lot this year doing the summer tubs. So if you're interested in checking out some more of the summer tubbing stuff, uh, go ahead and check out the videos that come here at the end. Uh, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit that subscription button if you haven't already. So with that being said, stay safe, stay fishy, and catch you guys on the next video.